There's a great potential for the development of wind energy in the Great Lakes. It's a wonderful public resource. It's available to, to peoples on both sides of the border, and it's never been done before in any of the Great Lakes or in any freshwater lakes around the world. And this is an opportunity for people on both sides of the border to find out exactly what the potential is and to tap this abundant renewable resource. The moratorium by the province of Ontario on the development of wind energy on the Great Lakes, I believe, is a result of a misunderstanding that the Americans have called for the moratorium while we study the potential environmental impacts of wind turbines in the Great Lakes. Meanwhile, the city of Cleveland is forging ahead with a pilot project. The offshore projects elsewhere in the world haven't seen any um, serious environmental impacts, but it's, it's appropriate for them to begin the studies. It's appropriate for us here in Ontario to study the impact as well, but you can really only determine the impact if you have real turbines in the water and you can measure those impacts. A typical wind turbine today will produce enough electricity for about 400 Ontario homes. And if you were able to cut your consumption, say, in half, each wind turbine produce enough electricity for 800 Ontario homes. Imagine the potential of the Great Lakes to meet Ontario's electricity needs. Well, the benefits of offshore wind are the same as the benefits of wind on land. It's clean, it's green, and it's a renewable technology. But another benefit, and this is what the, the people in Ohio are extremely interested in, is develop their industrial capacity to replace all those industrial jobs that they've lost in places like Cleveland. And we can do the same thing here in Ontario if we begin to act quickly.